So, have you ever been with a woman, but you don't know what to do? You don't want to lose her, but neither do you know what can keep her. Most men end up on hello, and they don't know what they can do to keep their women, loving them each and every day. Today, I've brought for you eight things a man can do to keep her woman loving him so much. The things that will keep a woman attracted to you and knowing this is the man and I'm not looking for anyone else. Join me in this video and let's move on. My name is Robert and thank you so much for joining the Barija Farm. If you haven't subscribed, click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell so that anytime we upload a video, you can be able to see it. And um, if it is educative to you, give it a thumbs up and share with friends. And by that, we shall make it. Let's go. Number one, compliment her. So most of the times when we have spent a lot of time with our partners, we tend to take it normal. Even when she looks nice that day, you say she's always beautiful. And she's always looking like that. She dresses very well, smartly, and you don't compliment her. But if you have complimented her and you say, maybe, love, you're looking so gorgeous today don't look don't leave it hung because anyone can say you're looking gorgeous today but give it with affection and add it let it be more specific like i can say love you're looking so gorgeous today that you're making my heart pump so fast and i think you're the only woman that occupies my mind every time i look at you your woman will feel so special and we'll know you have gotten that compliment from your heart. It's not just complimenting her and you move on, but she will know you've got it from your heart. That's it. Buy her gifts, especially when she least expects it. Most of the men, we think that gifting our girlfriends, our women, is possibly maybe on Valentine's Day maybe when you have a dinner it can be a casual day buy her flowers you know what she likes buy her flowers bring them home after work come with them and give it to them she will feel so happy she will feel so glad if you're passing in town and you look at a very nice dress don't look at it and leave it if you have a coin in the pocket buy it for her and let her feel like someone thinks about me even when I'm not with them. Personally, I've always done it when I'm passing in town and I have some money in the pocket. I buy for my woman. It doesn't necessarily mean I have to be with her, but I look at the dress and I'm like, yes, this dress looks so beautiful on my woman. And I buy it and she likes it. I surprise her and I see her cry with tears of joy and it really makes me happy sometimes even when i'm going to buy my own clothes i end up not buying them i buy for her instead number three give her time i don't mean necessarily being with her 24 7 that you're giving her time you know in this time of ours where people have grown up on uh, uh, computers, phones, everyone has a smartphone. We tend to be internet freaks and we are social media freaks. We spend time on internet and don't give our loved ones time. Like even you watching your woman seated in the same sofa 
you cannot hold the conversation and you prefer sending her a text message on WhatsApp when you're seated together in the same sofa and you can't hold a conversation with her. Ladies want this quality time to feel your presence. When you're with her, take away all the phones, switch off the television and cuddle with her, give her that time that she needs. Don't come home maybe from work and you, you, you are like, I have to do these assignments. I have to attend to these calls of my friends. No. If you've come home, put everything and give her time. Show her that she is the priority in everything. By that, you're making her fall in love with you each and every day. Number four. Be proud of her. I don't know whether I'm the one who normally notices it, but um, I think in Africa we have a tendency of not being proud of what we have. But I'm not among them because I'm proud of what I have. So, there are men who don't want to even introduce their wives as wives in front of their friends. It's very rare for you to even use her as your DP on your WhatsApp, on your social media handles. You rarely post them. You rarely involve them in your conversation. But hey, did you know that even just a single post of your loved one on a social media handle makes a lot of difference in your love? Your love life changes. It shows her that you take her to be part of you. You give her that chance to be with you in your daily struggles. I know a lot of men will say, I have her pick in the wallet. Who sees in your wallet apart from you? But many people will watch your social media handles, your Twitter, your Facebook, your WhatsApp status. Put her there, even if you don't write anything. But she is your woman, for heaven's sake. Why not write something adorable that even when someone sees it, says, yes, there is love here. Your woman will feel so special. Number five, trust her and give her reasons to also feel that you trust her. Most of the times, I will use Africa because I'm from Africa and I will use Uganda particularly. So, it's very rare for someone to buy property and doesn't include in the name of the woman. And he says, I bought this property, maybe if it is a piece of land, he buys it for himself. The wife doesn't have to know and maybe the kids don't have to know. But you have married this person or she is your girlfriend and you're planning you're building yourselves why do you want to hide things from them did you know that a woman knows the house better than you the owner because for you you come and find everything is prepared she's the one who organizes your bedroom where you're going to hide those titles where th those documents she is the one actually who keeps them if you want person you're married why be secretive with your partner you have money in the wallet and you don't want to know you don't want them to know how much is in your wallet and then the next day you will say she asks a lot of money from me she thinks I have a lot because you never showed them how much you actually have and they even don't know how much you earn I remember every time I would earn my salary in the small jobs I used to do I used to bring all my money and give it to my wife and I say this is the money we have in our house and if you misuse it we shall eat nothing and the same thing if she would earn her salary, she would bring it to me. Love. 
this is the money we this is the money I got. Like this is my salary. And we had to plan together. We did. Because we are working together to make our lives better. So why not trust each other? Number six, be unique and real. There is a saying that all men are the same. And most of the times, it is actually we men who talk these things to different ladies. And you know, like, all men are the same. They're cheaters. But my brother, if you're a cheater, why do you think others do? Hmm? And then you hear someone saying, ladies can't be trusted. They can do this and this. If your woman does that, it doesn't mean that other people's women are like yours. You know? People have come up from different walks of life. And they have grown up in different homes. And you met your partner and you expect her to be like mine. Everyone is unique. And you have to appreciate that your woman is good and my woman is better so you don't need to compare your woman <laughs> with mine no. being real and unique a man you need to be fashionable hmm? you need to be fashionable in your attire you, you want to go to office and you dress like you're going to the beach those men who like playing football. You want to go to office and you're putting on a, a jersey. You, you're like these people who are going to the pitch. Be real and fashionable. Be able to hold a conversation with your wife, with your partner. It makes good sense. Number seven. Give her your first name. Every woman loves being called Mrs. This. You know? And having your first name will be a blessing to her. You know, my lady always says, I can't wait when I'm called Mrs. Parigi. You know? It feels so nice. It's a blessing. Like you have made it official and everyone knows she's yours and no one demands you. No one will come and claim her. You're joined together in spirit, soul and body. And they put a ring on your finger and they say you are finally husband and wife. It's the best moment and everyone. There's nobody who doesn't want to be officially married to their loved one. It's such a blessing. Men, I encourage you, let's do it. It's the best. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Click on the notification bell so that anytime we upload a video, you can be able to see it. If you pick one or two, give it a thumbs up and share with friends. Thank you so much and